what we're going to do is we're going to focus on journal articles because if you're like me and like many other students, journal articles form the vast majority of our reading and journal articles have very specific genre with very specific structures and styles and that's going to be important to how we read. When reading journal articles it helps of course to understand their anatomy. They're not all the same, there's lots of different kinds of journal articles. You might be reading something that is giving you a review of other journal articles. You might be reading empirical data, a theory piece, and of course, very big differences in how journal articles are organized across disciplines. And one particular way you can see this is the way in which um, qualitative research is organized compared to quantitative research articles. What I'm going to do here is very quickly go through and show you some of the key features of a journal article and these will help you later on when you're trying to achieve your purpose if you understand how they're organised. I have a range of articles here that I've just pulled out randomly more or less and they show you some of the different structures. All journal articles however have titles and the title tells you a lot not only about the content but also often about the approach. Articles also then, for example, have an introduction and an abstract that precedes that. The abstract is a nice succinct summary of what the article is about and that's what you use in order to decide whether or not this article is in fact relevant to you. However, I do know some colleagues who never read the abstract because they don't want to be told what the article is about. They want to work it out for themselves. Other key elements of the article aside from the abstract include numerous headings. Here you can see the headings and if you just scan through and look at the headings you get a sense exactly of what the article is about. Another important dimension of the journal article is also the way in which you've got clear sometimes structures around these headings but how they lead then into conclusions which are often clearly marked. Quantitative work, for example, might offer you headings uh, that include discussion. So here we can see very clearly marked to the conclusion and a large body of text here because this is a humanities piece without many headings. The conclusion is where you can see what the author has summarised about the text, but it's also about the so what, why does this article matter and what does it hope to have achieved. Other important elements, the reference list. Looking at the reference list helps you understand what other texts are available and then you can follow these up to find further information. I also find personally that the acknowledgements are very useful to look at in texts as well and they often explain to you how different scholars have worked together in developing texts. So when you want to decide if a journal article is fit for your purpose, you would use these particular elements to decide. And of course, some journal articles, for example, have key words, but not all.